If we stop confusing addiction with pathology, then we can focus much more clearly on the specific needs of specific individuals. That seems a huge advantage over dumping everyone in a basket that fits almost no one. Hopefully, this will treat and prevent acne and other skin diseases and reduce antibiotic use. Naked Biome is entering clinical trials to see if its approach is safe and effective. Research on motivation has suggested that a strong sense of autonomy is the key to developing the healthy self-motivation that allows children and teens to pursue their goals with passion and to enjoy their achievements. But what we see in many of the kids we test or tutor is motivational patterns that are at the extremes of one, an obsessive drive to succeed and two, seeing little point in working hard.
While some of these measures seem sensible, overall there is little empirical evidence that such security measures decrease the likelihood of school shootings. Athletes will be able to activate their self-warming jackets by pushing a button on a slim lithium-ion battery pack. Once switched on, electrons will surge through the silver ink till they hit a resistive carbon pad which will generate heat. For the designers and engineers who have spent years crafting Team USA's uniforms to offer both style and extraordinary aerodynamics, the need to keep athletes warm in these extreme temperatures posed an added dimension of difficulty.
We acknowledge all the information and memory notes are provided by students. We also acknowledge open source from various books and journal articles. All questions and answers are prepared and annotated by PTE magazine. All rights reserved, not for any commercial purposes, for personal study only. Current policy responses do not address the fundamental question of why so many mass shootings take place in schools. To answer this question, we need to get to the heart of how students experience the school and the meaning that the schools have in American life. Like isolated from Western Europe, Russia grew up without participating in the development like the Reformation that many Russians taking pride in their unique culture find dubious value. Russia is, as a result, the most unusual member of European family, if indeed it is European at all. The question is still open to debate, particularly among Russians themselves.
When countries assess their annual carbon emissions, they count up their cars and bus stations, but bushfires are not included, presumably because they are deemed to be events beyond human control. In Australia, Victoria alone sees several hundred thousand hectares burn each year. In both 2004 and more recently, the figure has even been over 1 million hectares. The Royal Institution is an organization that has been around for 209 years. Many of the people that have worked here have been scientists themselves, including Michael Faraday. He made the discoveries that may be generating a using electricity much easier, making it possible for us all to switch on lights, cook for dinner, play games, consoles, much, much more. Fence, humanly erected barrier between two divisions of land, used to mark a legal or other boundary to keep animals or people in or out, and sometimes as an ornament. In newly settled lands, fences are usually made of materials at hand, example stone, earth, or wood.
The provision of accurate and authoritative statistical information strengthens modern societies. It provides a basis for decisions to be made on such things as where to open schools and hospitals, how much money to spend on welfare payments, and even which football players to replace at halftime. First-year university students have designed and built a groundbreaking electric car that recharges itself. Fifty students from the University of Sydney's Faculty of Engineering spent five months cobbling together bits of plywood, foam and fiberglass to build the Mango concept car. They developed the specifications and, and hand-built the car. It's a pretty radical design, a four-wheel drive with a motor in each wheel. Australians do speak English, however, for some tourists and travelers, it can be difficult to understand the slang. Also, the links between Australian and American English were seen to be very tenuous. At least some colloquialisms in Australian English does not exist in other types of English.
Competence in mathematics was another trouble spot. More than half said that the real task schools graduates are deficient in mathematics. More than 10% of respondents said colleges graduates are deficient in the subject, while 70% said they are adequate. Orientalists, like many other early 19th century thinkers, conceive of humanity either in large collective terms or in abstract generalities. Orientalists are neither interested in nor capable of discussing individuals. Instead, artificial entities predominate. Similarly, the age-old distinction between Europe and Asia beneath very wide labels every possible variety of human plurality, reducing it in the process to one or two terminal collective abstractions. The next wave of leaders in industrial manufacturing will build an ecosystem that capitalizes on the promise of analytics and connectivity to maximize efficiency for themselves and their customers. They will map out their strategies and prioritize measures that will bring the most value to their business, starting now with pilot projects and building greater strengths in data analytics with cross-functional teams of experts.
Few things in the world produced such amazement as Bond's first glimpse of the Grand Canyon. It took around more than 2 billion years to create this vast wonder in some places. 17 miles wide, largely through the relentless force of the Colorado River, which runs 277 miles along its length and a mile beneath its towering rims. Along with customary classes on subjects such as finance, accounting, and marketing, today's MBA students are enrolling on courses for environmental policy and stewardship. Indeed, more than half of business schools require a course in environmental sustainability or corporate social responsibility, according to a survey of 91 U.S. business schools published in October 2005. The provision of accurate and authoritative statistical information strengthens modern societies. It provides a basis for decisions to be made on such things as where to open schools and hospitals, how much money to spend on welfare payments and even which football players to replace at halftime.